So I woke up to uh, someone sharing with me that Athena, the person who is running the Skeptic Feminist Twitter account, uh, vague posted about me three days ago and I didn't catch it. Um, and in this post, uh, Athena said that I am so starved for video content that I would drive eight hours to go just to see uh, Alexander's hearing get postponed again. Uh, glad I could enjoy the scenic view, though, and that's probably a reference to something that I tweeted out, like, you know, you guys think that it's a bother to drive through those mountains. It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I had to respond to that, that uh, I don't make video content on this channel uh, in the hopes that I'm going to be famous. You know, there, there is a formula that I could be following. I've talked about that formula before that would uh, help me grow a channel. And then there's the content that I follow that is my passion, that is my curiosity. Um, it is not out of the ordinary for me to follow uh, murder scenes. It's not out of the ordinary for me to go to uh, trial proceedings or uh, even go see the city council convene. You know, the, I have video footage of that on my channel. I, I drove days in order to go see the total eclipse, uh, filmed it, put it on my YouTube channel, and got 50 views. You know, and I know that when I make these videos, they're probably never going to be uh, viral videos. You know, I have a completely different interest in posting to YouTube in general. Uh, I feel that I'm chronicling uh, the historic events that I want to see chronicled. You know, this is my contribution to what's out there. And, uh, yeah, if you're in it just to be famous, you're not going to be in it for long, chances are. You know, you don't have 3,000 videos on a channel uh, when you can sometimes get less than 100 views and not have some other reason for making videos, right? Now, anyone who posts something publicly on any platform probably wouldn't mind if it was seen by the most amount of people possible, right? And uh, I'll, I'll give you that, that much, but... This is a little bit of the, the pot calling the kettle black, because, see, Athena, having taken over the skeptic feminist uh, Twitter account with its thousand followers, that is her claim to fame. Like, seriously, why not be yourself? Why keep that account alive? Okay? Alexander fucking shot and killed Heather... That should be the end of that account. Why do anything but leave it alone and, and leave it out there for posterity? Or even, you know, if you're of the persuasion, kill it in order to maybe protect Alexander from looking like uh, the unhinged person that he sometimes looks like because the prosecution can use that against him. Why not take your access to the accounts that Alexander uh, was privy to and take down the Skeptic Feminist YouTube channel and or maybe use it to take down all the mirrors of all the videos where he's, uh, say, making death threats against other YouTubers. You know, making himself look like somebody who could murder someone. Why not use that access in order to try to help uh, Alexander? Because in your tweet, you say that I have no connection to Alexander whatsoever. You know, and I'll, and I'll explain my connection. It happened uh, in my home state, uh, in the uh, town that is my namesake. Uh, the circle of 
subscribers that that uh, the Skeptic Feminist channel had were the same people that would be subscribed to my channel. We're all interested in the same things, you know. We're atheists. We're interested in the whole uh, social justice versus shitlord movement. You know, we we speak in the same circles. I have footage of Alexander uh, from 2011 on my channel where we went to the same fucking conference. Okay which was in Grand Junction. I traveled all that way just for a uh, Secular Coalition for America conference, okay? And to insult me for being willing to travel to go see the things that I'm passionate for, why the fuck weren't you there? You know? Why are you waiting until all of this is over to maybe go visit him in prison where he could be uh, imprisoned for life? Are you even his lover? Do you even really fucking exist? Is the skeptic feminist uh, Twitter account, I don't know, catfished by a troll? And are you even the Athena that maybe appeared once in one video with him? You know, because if you only appeared once in one video with him, you've, you've got as much connection to him video-wise as I do. You know, I have as well filmed him with my camera. Um, so, yeah. Might have even known him longer. <laughs> uh, but, you know, if, if you, if you uh, were bedded by him, then yeah, definitely you have more of a connection with him, of course, because, uh, you know, if he decided to fuck you, then, of course, he cares about you more. Um, yeah. It isn't lost on me that a guy that uh, takes shrooms and kills his girlfriend is neither skeptic nor feminist, <laughs> you know. And when when uh, when I look at all of these things, I'm like, wow, there is so much just cognitive dissonance floating around around this. But you know what? I not only drove out to see the arraignment get postponed and previously drove out to see hearings get postponed, um, I once again just applied for a day off just to see where the arraignment will happen uh, next June, right? And if it gets postponed again, I've got the days off, and, and I will be there, you know? And as much of the trial as I can see, because it's going to be like, three weeks they uh, estimated I'm going to go see because I have that passion where's your passion you know holding on to a Twitter account with a thousand followers because you can't grow a thousand followers on your own and it's your only voice in this world because you are the one who really needs to be seen you know if if you didn't need to be seen as the person who uh, was that third girlfriend, then why even fucking use the Skeptic Feminist fucking Twitter account? You know? Why not be yourself? That's all I got for the day. Um, you're lucky that I even turned the fan off <laughs> for the audio for this video. Because you know what? I'm not in this to get fucking famous, you know, and it probably would have been a more natural video with the fan noise.